If you're a product business owner, by the end of this video, you are able to create a stop motion video just by using your phone. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rini Ismail and I'm a video producer at PetriPix.com. I am passionate about helping small business owners how to create videos using minimal approach and gear. Stop motion videos is a collection of photos that can be turned into a video. It is especially useful for product business owners who wants to first start creating product videos of their own. The most important factor of creating a stop motion video is the planning process. You need a storyboard on how your final video is going to look like. Be reminded for a beginner, it may take up to 3 hours depending on how complex your stop motion video is. Subsequently, you just need 20 minutes tops. Okay, now let me show you the materials you need for a stop motion video. First, a mahjong paper. Um, yes, mahjong paper. Second, blue tag. Third, a lamp. Hello? And fourth, a tripod with a phone holder. Next, you need your phone, of course. And last but not least, I am using an app called Life Labs. Alright, now you know the materials that you need. Let me show you how to create the stop motion. Let's go. Okay, so now let's do the setup. What I did is I put out a blue tag at the edge of the mahjong paper. Why I use blue tag is because uh, you don't want to destroy your mahjong paper and also the wall. You can also get those aesthetic kind of backdrop, um, maybe at Daiso or any other hardware shop. I think you can find those kind of aesthetic backdrop. You can also get it from Shopee, Lazada. I think it's really affordable. And I have this small tripod. I'm going to use this for this stop motion because the product I'm going to use is these two supplements that I have. I don't have any other products and I'm not being paid to promote this. Okay. <laughs> what I want to achieve for the final video is this, where the product is going to go in and out and back in again. So how to do that? Let me show it to you. Open up the Life Labs app, tap on the plus icon to create a new project. Make sure you lock on the exposure, auto white balance and also focus to prevent any light flickering. And because I don't have a remote control, I will make sure I turn on the timer so that I can move the product to make a movement. Turn on the grid and let's get started. As you can see, the timer will count down and allows me to have time to move the products in small movement. Make sure there is no more shadow on the backdrop after the products are away from the shot. Now that we have shot the products, let's get into the editing. I want to make the photo move as if it's like a video. So what I'm going to do next is to make sure that I increase the speed and make it as if like it's actually a video. And if you look after it is being speed up, it is more seamless. I also want to start this video with an empty scene in front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this video so that it will start with an empty backdrop and make it like as if the products uh, are moved in instead of moving out. I will also turn on the boomerang because I want my stop motion video to move in and out seamlessly. I'm also going to freeze the last frame to about 2 seconds so I can see the product name at the end. Once you're done, you can export it into a video and save it into your camera roll. So yes, that's it. That's how you create a stop motion video and now it's your turn to create yours. If you find this beneficial, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I see you next time. Bye!